ground. But no, seriously, drum work is really boring in movies. And I wanted to hip it up. I found this 19-year-old kid. He's an amazing drone racer. And I said, all right, dude, you're going to fly. Go right under that car. You're going to time it perfectly. He goes, do I get to practice? I said, no, once, because I'm jumping the car once. You're going to get it right. Did you think he was going to be able to make it through? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, fascinating to watch where, where there was a bank robber coming out of a building, and he goes up to the architecture, and he just flips the drone, and he comes right down. It was mesmerizing to watch. FPV drones are quite different from regular drones. Bones, was there any time where you saw a shot and said, wow, okay, this is what FPV is? The bridge in LA where they were going through the light posts? Yeah. I think that's like a perfect example. It would be like it's turned sideways and then zigzag through. It yeah. was crazy. Yeah. That's definitely different than yeah. drone work. That but, it, but we're going at very high speeds. My job is to push them. And they're like, you want me to fly through the explosion? I'm like, yeah. And they come back like wide-eyed after they do it. They, we never get to do this stuff. But the reason why I wanted it, I wanted the energy, because this is a very uh, intense movie, and it just keeps that motion going. And I'm kind of known for how I move my cameras. It must be really exciting to have this tool because you can really immerse yourself and the audience in a place where you traditionally wouldn't be able to at the speeds and compromising positions. And He doesn't yeah. just crash cars, he crashes drones yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> do I care? No. Lightcraft was the team that was flying the drones, and you had Alex Vanover, also Jet, Jordan Temkin. They're both DRO world champions, yeah. kind of like the Olympics of drone racing. I think I very quickly understood that they were some of the best in the world. I couldn't fathom or understand how they were doing what they were doing. First, you'd watch it out in the real world, and you go, How's that happening? It just blew my mind, like yeah. the work that they were doing. So you kind of knew immediately how good they were. Yeah. Because you kind of go like, I don't know if it's possible. You wouldn't think it when you saw them on the street, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden they put on the gear and it's like, Woo! Right off the bat. Oh, beam exactly. off the top of the building. I kind of always thought the racing would be the pinnacle, but I think, you know, this is really a new world that's getting opened up to Jordan and I, and uh, I'm very excited to be part of it. So you don't actually do any of the flying yourself on these? Well, I can fly these, but I, I don't even try and compete with these guys. They're so much better than me that it's uh, it's at the point where I get to hang up my hat a little bit. What? That's crazy. <laughs> I was full throttle, that's why I was screaming. <laughs> Dude, you that just did fun. that like nothing. That was your warm up lap? Yeah, it was a warm up. <laughs> the thing is, Jordan and I do so much flying too on set almost every single day, it seems like at this point. So, I mean, we've just been flying so much, so our warm up time is like nothing. We can pretty much just pick the drones up and fly. I try and have no fear when I fly the drone because I feel like fear brings in self doubt. So I just come in with full confidence. I can see why Davis doesn't like to watch you fly. No, I anymore. can understand too because there were a few times where I'm like, I hope he's not watching because he would tell me to chill out. But, you know, I'm not going to crash the drone. I try and mitigate the risk as much as possible. And shooting ambulance, it sounded like there was a lot of opportunities for you to take risks. No, yeah, absolutely. And that was one of the encouraging things too sometimes when you get the ability to take risk and know that there's no consequence like if the drone goes down it's understandable that actually allows me to focus and fly a lot better the pressure seems off at that moment and then i end up being much more consistent My design, this is a Rotorite frame. It's called the CL1, and it's got my signature motors on it. These are Vanover motors. Uh, they're pretty dirty, but that's a good thing because it shows that they can take a beating. They wanted the cars as close together as he possibly could, and he wanted some energy. Counter shots with the FPV drone really just bring that energy to the set that, again, you don't get with anything else. Well, you so, couldn't put an arm car here. Yeah, you couldn't put an arm car there. <laughs> In order to kind of get that flat, but like pushing, I had to dive down sideways. And then he flattens out, and that creates this little moment. For about four seconds, he has that sideways motion. So what did Michael Bay say when you showed up and Alex wasn't there? He walked up and just said, hey, are you as good as a kid? Well, I'm a two-time world champion. He's only a one. Actually, I'm a four-time world champion, but I'm a one-time DRO world okay. champion. He's a two-time <laughs> anyway. DRO. Oh, so there's water in the air now. The water can go anywhere, right? So I always leave myself an out. In this case, it was go left and get out of there. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. Yeah, I grazed this tire like so close to it. And then we just flew out the other side and we we're like, oh, oh, we're fine. <laughs> what makes the camera work so exciting is like the riskier you get, the more exciting the shot becomes because yeah. then you're just in it just that much more. Yeah. It's closer and faster. <laughs> Officers down in front of the bank, automatic weapons being fired. Seriously, thank you so much to Universal for sponsoring this episode. I had such a blast making this video. Everything from that first ambulance ride, which really showed how chaotic things can be. So respect to all the first responders. An ambulance hits theaters today as of uploading this video. So go watch these FTV shots on the big screen. And I always say the sound design is just as important. So get that theater, bass, popcorn, explosions in your face, all that good stuff.